there is some anxiety as everyone when returned to Germany because uh, no one really knew when the Today is the second day of the National State of Emergency in Liberia. This is Obaya Ejewa reporting for DMT News from the United States of America focusing on the New England area. We will serve you with relevant events on Africa. Hello and welcome to this wonderful Wednesday evening with us at the Good, the Bad and the Ugly here on Diaspora Network Television. My name is Rabbi. I'm here with my beautiful girls, Liz and Gigi, as usual. We'll be taking a quick break to get you to follow us on our social media platforms. Okay, we're taking a short break. You follow us on our social media platforms and when we come back, we delve to what we have. Follow us on DNT Ghana on Twitter, DNT Ghana underscore on Instagram, Diaspora Network Television on Facebook. And don't forget to download our app, that is DNT app, on Google Play Store and the App Store. We'll be back and I'll introduce my beautiful, gorgeous ladies in the studio with me. And then we'll get talking about what we have today. Don't go away. As the national regulator of the communications industry in Ghana, the National Communications Authority seeks to ensure an environment that is safe and fair for consumers and service providers. NCA grants licenses and authorizations for operation of communication systems and services, develops guidelines to streamline communication activities, establish and monitor quality of service indicators for operators and service providers. NCA is in eight regions, Nakra, Tamale, Takradi, Kuma, Ho, Kufaridua, Sunyani, and Bolgatanga. Do you have unresolved complaints with the service providers? Contact us on 0800 Between the hours of 8 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock p.m. from Monday to Friday or visit our website at www.nca.org.gh and follow the procedure for filing a complaint or submitting inquiry. National Communications Authority Communications for Development. Hello, my name is Jermaine Nkrumah. For decades, leaders in Ghana have been complaining about brain drain, referring to the mass exodus of Ghanaians into foreign lands. The good news is lately, that brain drain has actually evolved into what many refer to as brain gain. In other words, Ghanaians left and have acquired new skills, and they are now available to come home to help with national development. In fact, here at DNT, we insist that there is nothing that Ghana needs done towards her development that she cannot find a Ghanaian to do, be they at home or from somewhere in the world. The question is, is there a role for Ghanaians abroad to play in Ghana's development? If the answer is yes, then we have to ask ourselves, what are the measures that have been put in place to facilitate their return home to help with nation building? Join me on Diaspora Weekly every Saturday at 9 o'clock in the morning as I engage Ghanaians, be they at home or abroad, as we analyze the topical issues and relevant issues pertaining to how diasporans abroad can come home and help with nation building. My name is Jermaine Nkrumah, and this is Diaspora Weekly. If you 
uh, just joining us here. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly here on Diaspora Network Television. I said earlier, I'm Rabi, and with me are my beautiful girls, Bone Straight, <laughs> Bone Straight, and Natural Girl. Huh. Yeah, like natural hair and Bone Straight. That's what I'm saying. Gigi, is that your hair? <laughs> your own hair? It's no. beautiful. <laughs> it's not your hair. No. I was actually jealous on it. I'm laughing like killer. You guys look good. Thank White you. and yellow. Is it yellow or Kerry? Mm. I don't know. Car okay, that's Kerry. Some people say yellow. This is what? Um, blue, but it's a shade of blue. Okay. Um, so if you're watching, this is a shade of blue. I don't know what shade it is. <laughs> How are you girls doing? How has your week been? Good. It's been good. No, Gigi, you should be tapping Liz. I think she's sleeping or something. You okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Did you, how was your Monday? How was your Tuesday? How was your today? Mm, it's all been good. Been a bit down with cold and yeah, but I'm fine. <laughs> Maybe you look good sick anyway. Did you, yeah, Liz, how was your week been so far? Great? Yeah. Okay. Sleeping, my girls had, sleepy but great. Okay. Okay. My girls had a good week. I had a good Monday. I had a good Tuesday. I had a good Wednesday. Hoping for the best for the remaining days of the week. We are going to delve right into our topics. But don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. And also, our WhatsApp number is on the screen. You can start sending in your messages when we start our discussions. I will let Gigi read this first story for me. In 2012, the NPP and Nana Ado believed that they had won the election, but... The Afarijan led EC stole it from them and gave it to the NDC and John Mahama. The MPP supporters wanted to hit the streets and turn the country upside down, but their leader Danado calmed them down and sought to resolve the issue through the courts. Four years later, in 2016, Ganesh rewarded him with a stunning victory. Today, the tables are turned, and the NDC and John Mahama are in the same position that the NPP and Nanado found themselves in eight years ago. But instead of the leadership of NDC playing the peace card, it is rather inciting the NDC supporters into rioting. Okay, so um, 20, so that's eight years ago. It mm -hmm. happened like that, and then the MPP decided that, okay, we are going to go to court instead of hitting the streets. But this year, we've seen that they are hitting the streets and probably not talking about even going to court. I don't think I've heard that. Mm -hmm. If Nana, uh, Nanado was able to go to court with this issue, why is Wahama and his people not going to court anyway? My girls are going to tell me why. And then if Mahama decides to run, okay, for the presidential position in 2024, do you think that voters are going to punish him for what is happening now? For the rioting and everything less. Do you think that whatever is happening now, if um, John Mahama decides that 2024 he's going to be the flag bearer for the NDC, voters are going to actually come at him and punish him for what is happening now? You know, as you rightly stated in um, 2012, same things happened. And, you know, the MPP, they, had, they felt they had won already okay. until they realized that it wasn't so. You know, people were all, you know, sad, but they listened to their peace-driven leader. And he said, look, let's take this to court. And they did. Finally, they got <laughs> to a consensus and realized that, oh, they lost, they lost it. Yeah. So they left it. And the next time, they came back more powered, in fact, fired up to do their best, and they won. I feel Mahama should look at this you know, and learn from it and do something about it. Okay. You, you, you go through some social media groups and the things you see on the pages or you hear people say, it's actually going to turn into violence. It, it has already it started. Has. Because I saw on a platform that we are going to burn down countermarch market. You know, and it actually happened. Yeah, they burnt down the market. And I've even seen on other platforms where they are um, threatening to burn down municipal yeah. assemblies, markets, and banks, and other places. And all these things that they are doing, what is it actually creating in people's minds? Mm -hmm. Honestly, this vote, these people watching, they are voters. Mm -hmm. People are, are watching what is going on. And if, if you think doing this is going to make you win in 2024, if you decide to stand, then you're lying to yourself. 
So you think that what is happening, that voters are going to vote They're against watching. him because of this? They are okay. watching. But don't you think that is to create an impression that Mahama was cheated this time? Which so they give impression? Them, they'll give him another opportunity in 2024. Sweetheart, which impression? If you know you've, you've been cheated, just do your best. Bring out the pink sheets as um, Nanado did. He brought his out and they took it to court and they delved into it. I remember I saw one of his videos saying something that if you don't understand, then you are taking it to court. We will de uh, definitely solve this matter. And you solved it. So why can't you take your own advice and take it to court and then solve it there? Okay. Now, these people that are going to create riots or have already started creating violence all around, should war come? Do you think Mama will still be with us? I'm sure he'll fly out and go and find somewhere to hide for the time That's being, true. only to, to think of how to come back in 2024. So why are you putting yourself through this stress? Okay, so you now, think this is not the first time. are hitting the streets and protesting are going to vote against him in 2024? Definitely. You know, you, you, you know we, human, we, have, um, we humans, we have a funny way of dealing with things. When we are all in, in the grass plucking, um, let's say, ants or anything, we all want to support you to do whatever thing that is happening. The time you realize that you are alone, that is when you, you see that, oh, okay, these people, they led me to war. We got there, they left me there. Or even it happens to us on a normal day where you all group up and be like, we are going to say something, and you get there and they'll be like, it's only you that said it. Okay. That's the same thing that is going to happen if he doesn't stop what he's doing. Now, that's not the first time people have lost. And, you know, and they felt... And it has actually become like a trend. Every yes. time there's an election, somebody feels cheated. But I think as to how they handle the, the situation or the issue is the point. I think point. he should handle it better than what he's doing now. Okay, because it's going to go against him in 2020. Definitely. Okay. Gigi, do you think if Mahama comes back, people will punish him, like vote against him because of what is happening now, how he's handling this whole um, result from the EC? No, I don't think so. You think people are going to <clears throat> vote for him? It's the same people that are on the streets. Okay. So you see, Mahama as a person is not inciting any war. Okay. What I don't agree with is the fact that he's quiet. Okay, so because <clears throat> you're a leader, you're supposed to come out okay. and come and calm your people down, but he's quiet. So that's where I have a problem. But the, for, um, I'm sorry, for Muhammad to stand and feel that, um, Ghanaians feel that he will not win again because of what's going on. No. See, this man has gone through the worst. Name it. What didn't come up? You know, but he still pulls through. So it's about how loyal people are to you. Yeah. These people are on the streets. Mahama gave his uh, speech five days ago, yeah. and there was no uh, iota of anger or of violence. Of, of violence. Did you watch it? You didn't watch it? No. Oh, okay. I listened to it, but I didn't watch it. Okay, so yeah. So if you, his demeanor and everything... He was cool, calm, collected, like the Mahama we know. It's just that it's the people that, that, that is following him. That's, it's, I don't know why they're doing that, all that, but that's, there's, that's another thing. So you can, you can never win against a ruling party. Okay, that's true. Let's watch the, the likes of 2012, my, my MPP, when they tried to, you know. They had, I think they actually had a lot of evidence. Good, they had all a the pink of, sheets, yeah. all the evidence, but they still didn't win against the but, ruling but party. But let me, let me chip this in. How will it be like when they've announced somebody the president, and then they go to court, and then they say, okay, from what has happened now, it's not this person, it's that person. I know. It, it makes the system very incompetent. Yes, it makes the EC yeah. very incompetent. Already people are raising eyebrows at Jean. About it, yes. yeah. That, oh, she's incompetent, or she's cheating, and all of that, yes. But you see, this will not affect Mahama in any way, because people love him. Okay. Look at how close the margin like is. Even with the uh, presidential seats uh, winning and all that, the, it's so, the margin is so close. That's compared to 2016. And even let's look at um, the parliamentary seats. Almost a 50-50. Yes. I think that's one of their issues. Yes. Because this is the closest we've had Exactly. So they feel that there's no justice amidst. Like, everything is kind because of... Because they can't vote for our MPs exactly. and then we are losing. Exactly. Okay. So people will say, oh, people did skirt and blouse or blouse and what? I don't yes, know how skirt and blouse. Skirt and blouse. <laughs> That's yeah. what they call it. Yeah. A lot of people did that, yes, but the margins are too close with the parliamentary seats. It's too close for um, the presidential seat to be like that. 
Okay, so for me, I don't think this will affect my no, mind. Don't anyway. you think that as a person that is looking at coming back in 2024, mm -hmm. right? If this is not, he doesn't have to concede well, but going to court will be the easiest. Must people die? Must properties be destroyed? Mm -hmm. That's my point. You I'm see, looking at the properties being destroyed. Exactly. People are watching. That's also my problem. Yeah, people are watching and exactly. they're going to say, okay, 2024 comes and he's campaigning. They're like, oh, because you and your people did this, you and your people did that. But you see, that. these same people burning the places, burning markets and all that mm -hmm. are the people that voted for him. Okay, so from your so point, they are even proud of him. Exactly. They're okay. the same people that are going to vote for him. Okay. Okay, so I'm sure maybe Mahama Shani Cook up some kind of address so that I won't look like these people are fools. Okay, so because if I come out as Mahama, I come and say, um, I don't know what's going on with my people, that they will feel betrayed and that will be worse. That will make them not vote for him. Okay, but so I'm sure he's trying to come out with some kind of statement that will make them feel uh, appreciated. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But do you think they are doing this for sympathy votes in 2024? Because if you are rioting that we are cheated, everybody feels we are really cheated. In 2024, people will be okay. We cheated. They cheated them in 2020. So let's give them a chance this year. Do you think they are going to get sympathy votes from people? No, I don't think they are going to get sympathy votes. Okay. I think that people are very angry okay. at the way this is kind of uh, uh, tackling the issue. They are not going to get any sympathy votes, but the same people that helped him with that close margin are going to help him. And by uh, four years' time, maybe they have kids that are 14, they have kids that are 16. That will be 18. You can imagine. Okay. And yeah. even within the four years, there may be something that I will do or the NPP will do that will get His other people. people because to. already the parliamentary seat can't pull away. A lot of people are pissed that they are MPs. It. Exactly. So in four years' time, we never know. Okay. But this will not affect. Him okay. being president. president, yeah. Okay, so Gigi in is saying that with whatever is happening, doesn't mean they are going sorry. to punish um, Mahama in 2024 by voting against him. Mm -hmm. Because the people that are even helping him and doing all this rioting and violence and everything, are the people going to be voting? Yeah. You know, so it wouldn't change anything. But let's just know, a lot of people are watching and they are destroying stuff, and so people are going to be angry at Mahama. Liz, I give you one minute to let me know. Another reason, like, why would you think people vote against him again because of this? You know, um, Gigi was saying that these are the, pe the people that are rioting and the same people that are going to vote for him. But, you know, what if people start hating the party and not Mahama as a person? You know, a lot of things happen. And when it happens, people hold grievances against the party because what, what, no, <laughs> what's, what's behind Mahama, apart from NDC? We got to know Mahama through NDC. So what if people start saying, okay, so the end, you know, uh, people have a way of um, tagging issues. You do something, they tag your mom or your parents or something. They forget that it is the child that did the thing. Now, th in this case, Mahama is creating, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that the thing, the messages we are seeing you know all those um stories or under those stories or all, all those social media pages are not true or may not end up like the way they are mentioning but should those things happen you know people will begin to say and you know when mpp was in i remember ndc did this thing ndc did that thing and that could affect him that could affect the vote now everybody knows ghana as a peaceful country Everybody knows Ghana as a democratic country. Do you want us to lose such, such names in, 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 in society? We have other neighboring countries. We went to Cote d'Ivoire, we went to Nigeria, we went to all these countries to go and tell them they should create peace and, and we are creating our okay. own war. Liz, as you, you mentioned that in 2024, people are going to remember what happened now. Does it mean we don't have short memories anymore? We don't have short memories. Okay, let's we, say we don't we have short memories. We just get blinded memories. with money sometimes, but we are not fools. Okay, so Liz is saying that whatever is happening now, posterity, is it posterity, right? Yeah, it's going to judge Mohammed and the NDC because they are destroying stuff and people are going to vote against them. JG, are you going to support Liz on that? You think that's no. Right? You won't? No, 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 no. It's not going to have any <laughs> it's not going to have any effect on the no. votes Mahama, so you Mahama see, is gonna get. You, you said that people did not vote for Mahama, but they voted for the NDC party. No. Okay, it's Mahama as a person. If somebody else has stood for um presidency with the MPP, probably the person would they have won. It's about what Nana did and what Nana has done before. You understand? So it's not about the NDC party. So what NDC, who do we know? Atamos is dead. Uh, now Rollins is dead. 
So if it's not about Muhammad, then who? He holds the, the party. So people are, will vote for him as a person, not the party. Okay, so people are inciting war. People are getting on the streets and burning all because they feel that their leader, Mahama, has been cheated. You understand? Yes, it's the party, but there's a head to everything. Yeah. So, like we live in homes. My father is the head of my home. Your father is the head of your home. When something comes up, they don't go down to your mom or to the kids. They go straight to the father and address it. You understand? So it's about the, pa the person, Mahama as a person. He's the reason why people are making all the noise okay. they're making. But you, don't you think that Muhammad could just come out and say, oh, that's my, my problem. followers, please don't exactly. do that. Exactly. So that is my, I don't know why he's quiet. quiet yes, because, it. because when honestly, he's quiet, it makes him look like he's okay he's, with what's he's, happening. He's, he's happy, exactly. Okay. okay, because silence means content. Yeah. So the more quiet you get, the more the people feel that you're backing you are, them. Yes, you are the one yes, yes. So, so that's where my problem is. He should come out and come and say something. So that Ghana, well, is, is the country we know, the peace country that we know the okay. peaceful country yes okay. they should just say something but i don't think all this is going to go no nah, it's not going to go okay so gigi stands by her yeah. point that nothing is going to happen to john Mahama if he contests in 2024 he's going to get the same votes or even more votes and mm -hmm. this uh riots or protests wouldn't cause a thing but later say never everything that is happening Ghanaians are going to remember all these things in four years time and uh, we have our first message. It says, good evening. May I ask if you have evidence that they are burning markets? They are there since nobody is prepared to listen to them. Where are the peace council, the pastors and the chiefs? Okay, as we stated earlier, we got those messages are circulating everywhere about they planning to burn a market and it actually happened. So we can't get, we don't know how true they are, but it's circulating and people are confirming it. Okay, so we'll take a quick break. You can still let uh, your messages come in. When we come back, we'll read a lot of your messages and we we'll move on to our girl talk. in various languages around the world. The government through various Ghana Fest live in Chicago, Illinois. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe gets the last laugh. Our correspondents, your eyes and ears around the globe. The UK inches towards the expanding of extended lockdown. There is some anxiety as everyone returned to Germany because uh, no one really knew when. Police student, Heritia Lissamba, Today is the second day of the National Student Emergency in Liberia. It's Obaya Ejewa reporting for DMT News from the United States of America, focusing on the New England area. We will serve you with relevant events on Africa. You 
I welcome back and as you know this is the good the bad and the ugly with me Rabi with Liz and Gigi we'll be taking a few messages that have been sent before we move to our girl talk topic okay so this is from Ishak from Takrade he says NDC do not have okay so NDC does not have any evidence to show JM just want to prepare the minds of NDC to bring him back in 2024. Mm -hmm. Let the NDC know that the silent majority is watching. Still, Mahama. <laughs> okay, that's from Ishak. And then we have another message. Hi, good evening. I'm Enoch and I'm writing all the way from Enyinase. I hope I got that right. Yeah, <laughs> correct or perfect. Thank you. I like what you beautiful ladies are doing. And I must say, I was glad when you read my tree text the last time good program keep it up okay so the the chi program was read by our chi mistress <laughs> Gigi is our chi mistress our gar mistress is liz so you can send your gar messages she'll read them no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay we have um please ghanian people life is good last stop okay i think i didn't get this well he says please ghanian people life is good last mm -hmm. stop please mm -hmm. send it again so we can um, he means life is good. So <laughs> no okay, more. so this is uh, dear Madam Host. Okay, I really want to invite you to Sinyani this weekend to spoil you. I'm really a fan of you. Okay, um, okay, we'll talk about that after this. We have a girl talk, an interesting girl talk, and I'll like Liz to Liz. It's a very short girl talk. Girl talk topic. Did you read the long text? I'm just trying to say so you don't say discriminated. It's short. So I use my head. <laughs> <laughs> so take it for me. Take it for me. Take the girl talk topic for me. So today's girl topic is um I have small breasts. But I know my boyfriend likes large breasts. He is willing to pay for my breast implants to enlarge them a bit. Hey. <clears throat> okay. So she has small breasts. Her boyfriend likes big breasts and he's ready to pay for big breast implants okay should i do it or keep myself intact okay i want to give the small breast person an opportunity to start I <laughs> of the three of us who, who is going to start liz are you going to do it or you're not going to do it no I, do it. I love my breast okay so as your boyfriend says he's going to pay for you to do an implant no i won't do that First of all, when he saw me, I didn't have a big breast. Okay. It was those small succulent oranges he saw. And this he is loved it. graphic. Oh, is that my, my mind? It's your mind, sweetheart. <laughs> this is really graphic. No. no. <laughs> no relax, sweetheart. I, what it, are you trying to... What, what, what adjectives No, what, what, what graphic about <laughs> orange? Graphic. We're just talking about small breasts. We're not talking about how succulent or how... <laughs> no, but you know, they were in ample shape. You understand? They were, they were good. I'm not, I'm not describing it, please. They were good when he I'm saw off. it. <laughs> and he admired it. Okay. But now he wants, he wants, he wants bigger, bigger ones. First of all, I want to find out where the love came from when he saw me earlier. Then maybe something else he saw about you. Maybe something else. You know, I feel the guy has a problem. Okay. If he can't love me the way I am, then he should go for a girl with a larger breast. Ugh. That way... If another guy also sees me and likes small breasts, he would come for me. Okay. No enlargement. Okay, so she now, should not. Yes. Now okay. this, let's say medically, these um, silicone things they are going to put in your breasts, they have terms and conditions. They have precautions you need to take. Are you ready to do all of them? What if something happens? What if it, it's... It, it's it bursts out. Even even ladies that have breast cancer and they, they take them out and fixing them back, you know, your life doesn't really feel the same. I'm, I'm yet to ask someone who has done it and is it's, it's feeling good or like would not feel some, some sort of like insecurities, especially in their, in their kindness or in their dark moments. Because you feel like you're on time bomb and you want to do something like that for a guy. <laughs> Okay. Who who is not married to you? That's just a boyfriend. Boyfriend. <coughs> if he dies, will you become a widow? Mm. Or if he goes away, would you die? Mm. I don't I, I don't think I would advise her Anybody to do that. No, 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 no. Okay, no. so Liz says no. 
she's not doing that for any man because there's even a biological risk to it you are altering something in your body there's a risk you are taking so to do that for a man it's a no that's what she says Gigi <laughs> Boo Street. Gigi Boo Boo says um no that <laughs> way. let me read this thing ah. I'm looking at it from another angle. angle okay I have small breasts yes but I know my yes. boyfriend likes large breasts he's willing to pay good so who brought the topic up he who? no wait we are taking I, it from the point where he brought it up ah uh, wait then who, that's how we are bringing we are bringing from that topic he brought it up he but, wants you to do it because of him no wait so the lady is actually saying that my boyfriend likes big boobs yes and my boyfriend is willing to pay yes why would you even think think like that like as, that? A, as woman. a woman yeah you see that's where i'm picking this from why would you think like that as a woman if your boyfriend like big likes he big big go exactly go for a woman with big boobs yeah. or just keep quiet and be in the relationship yeah okay because i was thinking when i saw it i was thinking about okay so if i meet a man and then i am attracted to him because of his money mm -hmm. i get then i say no he's short i want him to become tall exactly. that's what it looks like that's maybe something attracted like. you you get him exactly. there and you want something else yeah. to get bigger yeah. yeah so you know that your boyfriend likes larger boobs mm. and so you it looks like they actually had a discussion and then the guy is saying okay if, if that's if you what you want then i can pay for you as a woman flaunt what you have now because of the uh, different types of lingeries or bras you can actually hype no, but push Gigi, it people, to people do a lot of whatever. things because of labo exactly yeah yeah i was coming to that okay. so a woman would do that because of she love loves, yeah. because she feels that oh this is like some kind of sacrifice Price like the way god gave us life for for humanity yeah. or oh, let me do this so that my boyfriend will feel that i oh, really, love, I really him. love him it might even change his mind about me in a lot of ways maybe this guy doesn't want to marry but because, because the girl the yes has thought about him and has gone to do with her boobs and um, he goes like oh I really, really like you know me, yeah. wow she can go to this case to this extent considering all the hacks health hacks it, it brings I, I i almost asked the question but it's going to look so graphic i i want Please to do so so if i'm dating my boyfriend i decided i want him to increase something he's going to do that how does hey, you know <laughs> you know but you see is it is it gender uh inequality or what i, I think I so because so ladies are always those enlarging trying, stuff yeah, enlarging but stuff men do not men. enlarging anything Liz, don't you think so can they put silicon there <laughs> i don't know can they i've no no of i'm not like sure because no no if they could people would have done it yeah, but but they, they they don't they don't <laughs> oh i'm lost but what i think men do they, men, to, they, they try to enlarge. No, but it's not because things. of the women. It's for their own ego. Oh, it's to please women. No, it's their yeah. own ego. They want to feel the boss. Because a lady would not necessarily go and increase her boobs to... But if, honestly, a lot of women do that because they don't have self-confidence. Yes. yes. So, so if they your do confidence that, like even, low, even if reading this story, it looks like the girl is losing her self-confidence. I think because so she's maybe lost when it. they go places, the man pays sees, attention to yeah, boobs. Or oh, oh, maybe admire, when they are watching they, movies, they like, oh, talk a lot yeah, about oh, this girl's so. boobs. You know, I don't need a pillow and all that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's feeling so insecure about herself. But girl. Please don't feel insecure no, but, about but yourself. But honestly, I feel no woman should do that because Ex of a man. Because of a man. Yes, if you want it. to do it for Personally, yourself, for yes. your there are a lot of things, a lot of decisions we take for ourselves, yeah. right? You yeah. decide that, oh, I don't like the way my boobs are, I mm -hmm. want to do this. But if it's for a man, a man. I don't think you should go to the risk. A man that risk. can change his mind Yes, anytime. through all that risk, just to please a man. The next moment you say, I don't like your nose. Yes, then you I want to really your nose. Yeah, yeah, go and do this to your forehead or do exactly. this. Exactly, I want to flat forehead, me that. with my big forehead. No, but come to talk about silicones and plastic surgeries. A lot have gone wrong these days. I'm telling I watch you. some video and I'm like... Wow, because it's like everything is going wrong it's now. Funny. I saw one on Instagram, and I hear the maintenance and, and is very difficult as well. Very, very difficult. difficult, yeah, very Extremely difficult. difficult. Because uh, there's this social socialite in Ghana, mm -hmm. everybody knows she's done st stuff like yeah. that. Recently, I saw her at a, um, a program mm -hmm. in a video actually, mm -hmm. and she had a pillow with her. She had to put it on the seat to sit. sit yeah, down. it's a special kind of pillow, and I was told that they give that to you after a fresh implant. So you don't have to sit on a hard thing. You don't have to eat this. You don't have to drink I'm that. I'm sure it would deform it if, if she sits on yes, something. Yes, yes. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, but I think that ladies can have their own decisions. Decide to do what you want. But if it's for your man, who is not even your husband, exactly. why should you go ahead and do that? So recently, I, 
our, our phone lines will be activated pretty soon, but still let your messages come in on all the topics, the two topics that we've discussed so far. Yeah, recently I was watching um, this lady, um, Miss Hippie, what's her name? Uh, the lady with the... Please. Over, over now we have a lot of ladies with the baby. Uh, uh, I hope it's not Moisha. Moisha. <laughs> I was watching Moisha. Moisha is my hometown. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Moisha and she said bluntly that she had done so many exercises, you know, those kind of things, go to the gym, either, either, and to no avail. So she did not do that because of a man. She did that because she felt that she wanted to look in this way. So if a lady is going to do that, fine. Don't do that for a man. No. No. Okay. So... From all the discussions, yeah, there are people that would do that for love. Mm -hmm. Or as Gigi Riley said, somebody would say, I love him so much, I don't want to lose him. Yeah. He wants big boots, I'm doing that. Or let me make the sacrifice. In case I want something in the future, he can sacrifice for me as well. You know, sometimes. And, and I think black, breast implants are assets. Oh, and, exactly. It's an, it's an asset. And, and you know, the, the good thing is he's paying. Yeah, if he pays it's for your it, then you love it. It's your loss. If no, you, the sad thing is you are going to face the consequences should it happen. So this is if. Okay, what so if ladies, goes I'll well. be holding you a little bit. We have our first caller. Eric, hello. Yeah, hello. Good evening. Good evening, Eric. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. We are also doing fine here. Can we hear yeah. you now? Uh, I'm with my sister that's the 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 right side, the left side. Okay. The, the What's way the way you are speaking to the the what you are discussing, I like it. Uh, you see, you talk about uh, the way Mama, uh, your friend has wear the white shirt. You said that they are going to vote against Mama because of what they are doing. I think it's not like that. We didn't vote for NDC party. We vote for Mama. Okay. So I'm um, uh, the big ladies and uh, the big uh, the lady that you uh, the, okay the way I speak is my right side. <laughs> okay, that's Gigi. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. So Eric says he has uh, with Gigi. Uh -huh. So we are not uh, the voter is here or oh, we are not voting because of the party. We vote yeah. because of Mama. Yeah. So the first, the seventh day that will come out, please, we beg, we are begging that they should put Mahama on seat. Not 2015, NDP people, they declare the, 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 the presidential uh, for their self. Then Mahama was quiet, and we too, we are quiet. But this one, we are all standing. But we know that the EC is still the vote due to Mahama because we are hearing that too. The, uh, the EC and uh, my Akufuado uh, wife, they are the same family. Oh, they are okay. the same family. So please, Akufuado, to return his mind to come out and say something. Because the way he cheated out 2016 and our president, Mahama, was. Okay, thank you very much, Eric, for calling. We have Harriet on the line. Hello, Harriet. Hi. Yes, hello. Hi, Harriet. How are you doing? Yes, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Oh, fine. Okay, we are also fine. Please, let's hear okay. your take, please. Oh, please. I like your program. Every day I watch, um, oh, but I want to you. ask a question. Okay. Okay. If you are married and your husband said he like big bottle, huh. should you add a form or you have to stop it? <laughs> <laughs> add a form is healthier. <laughs> okay, Harriet, my girls will be discussing use your question. Form, okay, so Gigi says you should use a form. <laughs> you should wear a hip pad, you should wear a butt pad to impress your no but that's in clothes you can't do that when you're naked but maybe he saw that a married no, maybe, <laughs> maybe when you're going outside he that he wants you to look a, a, a bit heavier oh, okay. so you just wear the butts uh, okay harriet so you oh. can <laughs> okay we have friend paul on the line hello friend paul hello good evening Hi. lady good evening friend paul how are you doing uh, by good grace and you we are also yes, doing very fine. well over here let's hear uh, you, thank you. Yeah, I would like to join your last discussion about President Mahama. Okay. You see, one thing, I don't know, 
he will grown up than me, but I get an advice that I want to just put in. You see, when you go back to uh, 2015, I, when uh, President Kufado lost bless you. you see, after the verdict from the Supreme Court, what he said was, even though he's not in line with their ruling, but for the uh, sake of peace of the mm -hmm. country, mm -hmm. he has really accepted their yeah, verdict. We should all move on. That gave him some chances from the masses. So in the look of things, Mahama, it's not done deal for you. Yeah. You still have time to come back. Mm -hmm. So to my point is, just accept the verdict. Go back to the playing board. Look at where you fall short. And then correct your mistakes, and then come back at a full force. But by that time, the country will know that, oh, we have a state man who will really have peace, who loves the country. So at least some sympathy votes will flow on for you. And then you come back. But to just, I know, like uh, one of your panelists says, you just sit down and let people just go around dancing yeah. the image of a peaceful country like this. It has an issue on you. So definitely we know that you are behind them. Probably it's not up to you. So to me, from the, uh, the Supreme Court ruling, we realize that the lessons are one at the police station. We just accept it. Go back, sit down, come out with a message that will be really pleased with the masses. And then probably they will consider you. Ah, uh, this ruler balloon at least it will not work. At least from a statement, of his caliber, oh, we should hear something from him. That's my point. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, hello, we have another caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, friend Paul. Uh, this is Alex. Okay, hello, Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are good you evening. doing? I'm doing to your panel. Good it, evening. It's um, very good, but I used to admire a lot. I think it's an empire pointed in her. It has lost me to you. It's unfortunate that uh, I mean you are not around like I'll take you out this weekend. <laughs> it's fair to be fair. But anyway, don't worry. Okay. You know what? In twenty sixteen, uh twenty uh, twenty twelve when President Nakin father lost the election. Do you know who made uh, a black board of life in this country? It's the twenty twelve election. He converts at a passport. And that's why it's so very important. This country, to where you go to YouTube, and you will get the footsteps and the videos. Look at it. Even 2016, when MPP won the election, come to Sunyani. Sunyani was very down for anybody. And even when they won the election, when they won the election, so who was being down in Sudan here. An assembly man did that. And he was arrested. Now he's outside there and he's a free man because he's fighting his own power. We have people who are working now under trees. They were kept out of their offices because the uh, MPP won an election. They did not have to lose the election because of all these things, all this was happening. So the lady in white to tell me when Elections were conducted in this country. Five people or seven people shot dead. Seven people injured. You tell me, in this country, which year was election conducted? Military men, police men, shooting innocent citizens, killing them like cows. And you expect us to sit down and watch this thing to go on? Look at how people are used to power, state security, to overturn the results of certain constituency. Okay. It's man, Senate, uh, and Chicago. Okay. Alex, but all these you demonstrations see, and so rioting, they give power so to Muhammad. Fact, it is, uh, Hello, Alex. It's happening. So you should take note of some of these things. <laughs> okay. Alex, thank you. But do you think all these demonstrations and riots will give power to Muhammad? Actually, we are doing this to prepare really for the court anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, I like any of the books, so no problem. Any book, the book. 
Okay, thank you very much for joining. We have Kofi on the line. Hello, Kofi. Hi, Kofi. Hello, Kofi. Hello. Yes, Good Kofi. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello. I'm fine. How are you too? We are doing good over yeah, here. Yeah, good well. evening. I'm fine. And you? We are doing fine. Right. Uh, my problem is that uh, we always talk about peace without justice in Ghana. How can we have peace without justice? Look at what is going on. The Electoral Commission gives two results and came out to say that one is an error. Where comes that error? No one is asking the Electoral Commission in this country to come out and explain where the error came from. But just saying somebody should be quiet. These are the things that people want the leadership to ask for explanation, for young people to understand and know what to do. You see, what is going on? This, Hello, Kofi. Uh, how people are just trying to manipulate figures. We are looking at it from this perspective like election. But people, our young people are learning the character which is from that and is going to affect the nation tomorrow. If Mahama is quiet, what is the Christian Council saying about it? What is the Peace Council saying about that? What is the chief and the imams and the leaders saying about that? People just come out and say, go to court. We have to be careful and think about the justice so that there will be peace. You can come out and say, don't go, but the young people will be somewhere. Today, somebody is there. Who is saying it on your airways? The guy who was shot is dead today. Nobody is saying it. Okay, Kofi, so but... you know that Hello, these Kofi. things are going back and people are not saying it because it's to NDC. They have to air their voices out for people to hear. Okay, Kofi, because we, we get on, you. People will read. So they have to demonstrate to let people know what is going on. Okay. That's what people can hear and talk about. Okay. We get right. you about the Peace Council. You know, Mahama and Nanado both signed a peace um, pact. Okay, they, they agreed that whatever comes, if there's going to be any issue, should be taken to court. So I don't think the Peace Council has so much to do right now until they go to court. Don't you think so? Yes, they have to go to court, but it's happening this way. What is their rule? You have to call both parties and refer them to what they, 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 what they sign. The, by you are sitting with them to go to court, go to court. It's up to them to invite them, sit them down, and talk to them so that they think that somebody cares. Okay. Okay. No? Okay, thank you very much, Kofi. Kofi is saying that the Peace Council has to come to them, uh, get Mahama and Nanado together and talk to them as to whether one is conceding or they are still going to court. So the Peace Council should not be quiet. Let's take a few messages and see. Um, what people think here. Okay. So this is from Kofi Same Achem Abuabo. Scientifically speaking, if you are one of the many women blessed with an abundant chest. <laughs> hey, this <Right>. state. <laughs> this, okay, so now I have a new word in my dictionary. Abundant chest. <laughs> Chances are you are also blessed with a variety of evolutionary benefits. Re <laughs> research suggests that women with larger breasts have higher IQs. Now, are you serious? <laughs> While well, another study links bigger breast size to higher fertility ratio. My dear big breast, no size. Okay, that's from Kofi uh, Achim. All right, we have this that says, I suggest that Mahama should willingly accept the results declared for peace uh, to reign. For the sake of peace, he should. You didn't add your name. Please do that next time for us. Okay. Uh... Okay, we have another message here that says, hoping to hear from you, gorgeous one. Okay, okay. Please add your name and let us get your contribution clearly. Well, I feel if a girl truly loves me and she knows I like big breasts, she's supposed to go and do surgery. Okay, okay. But why don't you go and get a girl with big breasts? <laughs> 
Okay, we have Anita on the line. Let's pick a call before we go to the other messages. Hello, Anita. Yes, Nathan. Nathan. Yes. Sir. Okay, sorry, I said Anita. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Nathan? Um, you know, I'm doing I'm okay. Let's hear uh, you, please. Very well. hmm. Oh, I'm doing an address for all that. All right, uh, I want to uh, follow up on the issue of the mama. Okay. You see, what we Ghanaians will know is that if your mama to win gain power, and Nana Kutu is even going to be the president of Ghana, he should be aware that he was not elected. Why do I say so? If he was elected, then the results wouldn't have been flouting, and people are able to protest that the results was um, denounced on his favor. He should come out and also say something about it. Let me also say this thing. Your mama didn't go get power, but he is fighting not for himself to get power in 2020, but for we the youth, including the NPP. Why do I say so? Because if we look at this to be done, then that means already Nana Kufuadu and any other person reasonable can do and say anything to take power from them. And we shouldn't let that happen because that is a democrat. We are in a democracy. We are not in a monarchy system. Mm -hmm. So it is very sad when people are saying that uh, your mama to accept defeat and all that. No reasonable person is going to say this because what the EC has done is, is to prove to us that what the uh, incumbent president wants must happen. And the peace, you've also spoken about the peace that we were signed or whatever they did. It was not meant to, uh, to, to, to say that. Any protection that comes at the, the election should be tolerated. It was to answer that if it is declared clearly free and clear, then what they should accept. Not if they go out and do any bad thing, you should come and clap for them. No one would do it. Okay, Nathan, we get your point. But are you trying to say all the media houses projected that Nanado had won? Are you trying to say all the media houses also got it wrong? Well, I can't say that, but a lot of people are to uh, like, just look at uh, Ohento, the uh, lecturer and the VA, which is a participant or what. Look at his process. It's very acceptable. If the, it was wrong, he, he wouldn't have been allowed to see this over and over time. People should go and tell him. Look, just look at the incident of Ketchuman uh, uh, Sad. What I was very sad on the very day the electoral commission judge uh, was speaking. If what he said was on point, what are we Ghanaians looking at? Okay. Thank you very much, Nathan. Okay, so let's talk to Emmanuel now and then take some messages. Hello, Emmanuel. Hello, madam. Good evening. Good evening, Emmanuel. How are you doing? I'm doing very well on your side. Uh, you yes. and your guest. We are good. Where are you calling us from? I'm calling you from Ogwasi. Oh, okay. Okay, the gold city. Let's hear you. Okay. I just don't understand Ghanaians and our leaders and the kind of politics that we are now doing. Some people are sacrificing their life for both MPP and NDC, but they don't gain nothing from hmm. it, and I don't get it. Hmm. We were in this country. Mahama was in power. He told us that he is going to, I think he, he wanted to manage Guinea Fowl. Oh. <laughs> it, it, it all ended envy. Back again, he came and told us that the Guinea Fowl had traveled to Burkina. <laughs> you came again and told us that, you came again and told us that and, and Ghanaians have short memories. <laughs> Let's put Mahama aside. Akofuadu. We were here. Almost one year, you have exchanged money. You just, you, I, I don't get them. I don't get them. Akufado told us that he is going to, he is going to make sure that Galante is really trained, and he, he, he I mean, he, he was telling us that he is going to improve the work of Galante. When he came, he came and collapsed the door. A lot of businesses are now going down. We are here. NDC people are still following uh, and, 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 and Mahama. And MPP people are still following um, um, Akofuadu. I don't get Ghanaian. I don't really, really don't get Ghanaian. 
some people are, have, have left their door. Okay. On, and, and they are fighting on the street for such corrupt senior, uh, our political leader. Emmanuel. I, I, because, because let, let me talk, let me learn. Because land. there are some people in Ghana. There are some people in Ghana. They are NDC candidates and they are NDC people. I swear, they want MPP to come to power because if MPP is there, they are going to benefit more than um, NDC will come. And there are some people in MPP. I don't get Ghana, so when I see people fighting on the street, I start at my place and start laughing because me, I'm a hustler. I don't have time to fight over politics because they are all thieves. They are all corrupt. Okay, Emmanuel, what so do you want the Ghanaians to do now? And the things that even baffle my mind is, when you go to social media, we the youth now are on social media. And if there is a problem, and, and they will say that, and, and this one, hey, you are stupid, you are a fool. You are, I, don't, I don't get Ghanaian. So okay. what, 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 are, what, what are we doing? Hey, man, no, we, so, it, we, we get it. Okay, do you like big breasts or you like small breasts? Um, for me, um... <laughs> yes, we're listening to you. <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> why, 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 why? Do you see me that as I'm talking, I, I look like I'm, no, I'm angry not. now. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> ah, because, because, because. Okay, okay, for my choice. Oh, them. choose one, choose one. For my choice, both of them. If I get big one. No problem. If I get small one, no problem. You got me, you know. I don't have time to choose between both of them. He doesn't have time for MPP He doesn't have time for politics. He doesn't have time to choose between big La Hasso and Yes Allahu. Anybody in this world, who? La Hasso and Yes Allahu. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Emmanuel. But I really... We have some messages coming in. This is Jolly from Takradi. Please tell the girl to kindly and politely end the relationship if she loves herself. Mm -hmm. Unless maybe she's shallow-minded, then she'll fall for it. This thing called love, eh? Jolly, we get it. We get it. Okay, so I won't advise the lady to go for the breast enlargement. I mean, you got to love everything about your woman before you fall in love with her. If you are not disciplined, you keep following big ass and breasts forever. I think the guy is becoming an addict or a porn watcher or something. This is from Tino Critical. This makes me angry. Well, that's what most ladies want. Rejecting the good guys and roaming after <laughs> romantic guys. <laughs> okay, this one from Anastasia <laughs> says, um, I will never enlarge anything for any person. Mm -hmm. He can go for someone who has big breasts oh, right. <coughs> and leave me for the one who likes small breasts. Mm -hmm. Love you girls and who is Dagati among you girls? <laughs> okay, Anastasia from Upper West. I uh, will answer that question soon. All right, ladies. Uh, some people don't have time at all. I, I like that guy. Okay, we'll have our last call before we, we leave. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, ladies. Okay, we have another call on the line. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Can you speak up a little bit for us? Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? We are doing good, too. Uh, I'm, I'm calling from Techman. Okay. Can I speak the new language? Yes, you can. <coughs> okay, Mr. Pepperidge, that's my own. Yeah. I mean, besides that, uh, Caterpillar, I don't know, I can't want them saying. Mr. Pepperidge, I was excavators, no? Uh huh. Mr. Pepperidge, I was saying. I don't want to say, because I I don't <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, thank you. thank you. Please, my point is, I was disappointed in all media houses because they were all sent. 
they have all sent reporters to the various regions and they didn't report exactly what they saw. Okay, that's what he says he's disappointed in the media houses. Okay, someone has sent an evidence for the NDC. We can't show it. I wish we could. He has sent a coalition of what the NDC has that shows that John Mahama has won. Okay. Good evening. My name is Hussein from WA. You people are doing a good work. Thanks so much. And then, okay. Uh, for me, I like big breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Simple and short. Okay, Hussein, we get it that you like big breasts. We have... Um, Good evening, beautiful ladies, and good evening, Ghana. I'm Fahad from WA. I have been trying to call you ladies, but your lines have been busy. Sorry about that. Please try again next time. But the truth of the matter is that going for a surgery for you to please your boyfriend or husband is foolishness. Oh. After all, boyfriends and girlfriends break up. Even husbands and wives yeah, divorce. Right. So what's at stake <coughs> here? Please leave. Okay. He says, um, please leave with what God has given to you someone will love you for who you are okay we'll be wrapping up but the messages are so many i wish i could finish all of them big breast is a bed pillow <laughs> to every man it helps fill up empty all the men saying they like big breasts are they going to say their small breast girlfriend should alter or something they can easily do that they marry a girl and they'll say she should go and alter her breast but can everybody have big breasts? no not at all okay this person also says well if a girl truly loves me she must do the surgery to give me big breasts. You do, you do, sir. To do what? <laughs> <laughs> to get what? <laughs> okay, and then somebody says, and for me, I like big breasts and small breasts. Okay, nothing worth watching than seeing big breasts lady running towards hey. you any morning. <laughs> this is from Lamstar from Gambia. Okay, thank you very much. My ladies are going to wrap up. I'm going to give each of you a minute. Liz, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, you have a minute to wrap up. I'm still standing by the fact that I don't want the young lady to do that no. because if right now she should be watching people who have small breasts and they are living their lives. Mm -hmm. If you want to put in um, silicone and it will bring you problems, my sister, stay or somewhere. Find, if, if it means leaving the guy, why not? Okay. And to the NDC people, please bring out your pink sheets okay. let's see what's happening Mahama don't keep quiet come and say something because people are creating a lot of rukas here and there and it will cost us our peace that is what Ghana is known for please don't let us lose our democracy and our peace okay. thank you okay so Liz says that all these things that are happening she still insists that ladies should not do any breast implant for her boyfriend Gigi, Gigi, Gigi. <laughs> okay, so um, I think Mahama should come and say something to calm his followers, yes? And the EC should also do a, a good job, a better job of um, calming everybody down because the EC is quiet, everybody's quiet. So it, it makes the M NDC guys feel stupid, you understand? Even there's this YouTube um, video that has the caption that NPP guys gave me. Promise me a V8 to okay. alter the figures. So you see that too, too many evidences like just flying in the air. Yeah. So if she's competent enough or if she's free of all these uh, accusations, she should just come out to come and say something. So both Jean and Mahama should say something so Ghanaians can still, you know, keep the peace that we have always held as a country. And yes, for the big boobs, please, if you want a big boob girl, Go and get yourself one and, okay. and leave the girl with small, small boobs. Small boobs alone. Yeah. Small boobs like People matter. have a variety of things that they <laughs> yeah. are attracted to. So, yes, please. If it's not for your own self-esteem, girl, forget it. Okay. Yeah. So, Gigi says that if it's for your own self-esteem, ego, and pride, mm -hmm. you can decide to do whatever. But for a man's yeah. sake, no, no, no. Okay. So, I'll take a few more messages with my time. Mm -hmm. Nice program. Please. My name is Addison from Tabora. I would like to say, for a lady to change or build her body, it always goes for a guy, either in mind or even directly or purposely. No matter how or what she does, it's because of a man. Mm -hmm. Okay, now or in the future. Okay. All right. Mahama should come out and say something to Ghanaians, just like mm -hmm. the ladies have all said. And he says he likes small breasts. Okay, small breasts, lives matter. Thank you very much. <laughs> Must you say oh that? God, must you say that? 
<laughs> okay. Oh, this message I want to, that big breast is like a pillow and it helps to fill up empty headed guys. Ah. <laughs> ah. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Watching from the Gambia, that is Lamsa. We had so much fun today. Small breast life smart. I really love that line. You, yeah, but wait, where do you get all those lines from, Rabi? It's, it's from they said if you have big breasts. No, but my breast is not big. But you seem to have some kind of <laughs> it's from my like, like a vocab book. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my ladies are so much fun. Gigi Meshi, she's been under the weather a little bit, but she looks good even when she's sick. And Liz mm -hmm. has been eating the well, whole I evening. I want to drink Lamuji at my <laughs> Liz has been eating the whole day. I don't even understand. Hmm. But amongst us, you think that, oh, maybe it's Gigi who eats more. I'm, but, I'm sure. But, but, <laughs> but, we had so much fun over here. <laughs> I am Rabi. Gigi and Liz, here with me with all the fun, all the calls. We enjoyed them. And your messages. If you couldn't read your message, we're sorry. We'll try to do that on Friday. Yeah. Same time on Friday, we are here again. All glamorous for your calls mm -hmm. and your messages. See you and we love you. Be pencil, but I go draw your attention. Body need to move, now body need what's something to keep my mama attention. Big girl, we are not the shy. If you know they like me, make me die. Double back up, chrome, I cut out the get to the fat, I can step right through my guy. Oh my God, where the heavy load? Where the heavy load? Every guy, baby, I overload. Baby, I overload. Major, 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 major. I'm gonna be